Winter weather hitting all season this year. A Salt Lake City woman is going out of her way to help keep homeless people warm. Yeah, she makes candle stoves out of donated supplies in her kitchen. New specialist Shelby Lofton joins us now live with this story. Shelby. Yeah, Dan, every time the temperature out here drops below 25 degrees, the organization Unsheltered Utah works to bring people inside. And they said they've seen people with frostbite about 10 cases every night this weekend. But the Salt Lake City woman is doing everything she can to prevent that from happening. I've gone through about 75 pounds of wax. A Salt Lake City woman has transformed her kitchen into a candle making factory. This is a lovely donated candle that's never been used. Susan Keene has it down to a science. You see how that's a pretty decent wick? We will reuse that wick. Bubbles break down wax in one yeah. corner. A yeah. room table is now a laboratory of sorts. She relies on donations. I would like to have the faith that what I need will come. Keen gives to those who don't have much. I'm going to make three cold air vents for this particular one. Warmth at this time of year can be hard to come by. I think I've always had a spot for, for homeless people. My brother was homeless. I've had a daughter that's been homeless. Over the past three years, she's perfected her process. While the first candle stove is cooling, use the other one. Switch back and forth. She partners with organizations like Unsheltered Utah to pass out the candle stoves. We've had several people lose toes this winter. Executive Director Wendy Garvin says the shelters have been busy. So for those outside... We have people asking for her candle stoves all the time. Uh, we, <laughs> we feel like any sort of heating device has saved lives this winter. Wow. <laughs> That's exciting to know. Keen predicts she'll assemble 800 candle stove gift bags this winter. She'll take your tunneling candles and leftover cat food tins and turn them into a gift that will be cherished. There's so much little we can do. Now, starting this, this Thursday, volunteers will be out and about counting and interviewing homeless people across the state and this headcount helps leaders have a better idea of what resources they need and how much they need in order to end homelessness. The state does need more volunteers though so we have links on how to get involved, how you can become a volunteer on our website ksltv.com. Also on our website in this store you can check out ways to how you can donate Susan Keene and help her candle stove making continue. We'll send it back to you Dan. Wow incredible story incredible woman there thanks a lot.